imagine his confidence is soaring. And I think just in that last shot, we saw Haley Esparza and Katie O'Neill come out. They are really our prime points of contact for all astronaut operations with SpaceX. And here they come. Crew 10 taking their first steps outside as they prepare for their journey to the International Space Station. Commander Ann McLean doing some dabbing. Pilot Nicole Ayers, Jack's astronaut and mission specialist Takoya Inishi, and Roscosmos cosmonaut and mission specialist Kirill Peskov. Did you like that dab? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I'm not sure of the story on that one. See the astronauts throwing up some heart signs. And there we are looking from close to the doors out to the rest of the caravan, Kirill Peskov. Looks like he's having some lighthearted conversation. And McLean with a pink hat that I know says Crew 10 on it only because you have one as well. Yeah, the crew have made a lot of gear for their loved ones and their guests and also, you know, just to be for everyone to be sporting before and during the mission. And those are some pretty cool Crew 10 hats that Anne and her crew designed. It says Crew 10 on the front and on the side there is the Crew 10 patch. There's JAXA astronaut, Japanese astronaut Aki Hoshide. So he's here as a support person for talk today. Mm. Very experienced astronaut, of yes, course, indeed. as well. I uh, see Chell Lindgren off in uh, behind uh, the Tesla there yep. as well. Chell is there astronaut. standing with Joe, and he is currently serving a role in the f as the, the uh, director of the Flight Operations Directorate. Mm. So kind of the boss. He's really the boss above the astronaut office right now. Okay. I see some Crew 10 shirts out there as well being worn. We'll talk more about how they design their mission patch coming up in a bit. But we want to focus on the live action at this moment. Gull wing doors are up. But in a few moments, they'll come down along with the windows. And that'll give an opportunity for uh, the crew to say a few words before they drive, drive off. That uh, Go Crew 10 t-shirt that you saw in that shot just previously, uh, the woman with the pink hat, looks similar to, I think, an unofficial team shirt that uh, this crew made, which is kind of funny. Yeah, they also have an unofficial logo, which you can see here sported by my husband, actually. <laughs> this is a great one, and it's kind of just really shows you the sense of humor of the crew. Anne is certainly not a short woman. She's taller than me. I think she's 5'7", at least, if not 5'8". But her crew is exceptionally tall, if uh -huh. you notice in the suit room and when they were all standing together. So this is kind of their unofficial logo, where they have these three giraffes, <laughs> and then they have Anne, the short little panda. <laughs> With her call sign, Anne Namol, below. Yeah. That's right. That call sign is something that she had from her rugby days when she played with the Atlanta Harlequins. So we, we still call her animal quite frequently in the astronaut office as well. And it's a, it's a call sign that really suits her personality. You don't earn a nickname like that unless you can really lay down a hit, I'm guessing, in rugby. You know what I mean? <laughs> Absolutely. We have the commander, Anne McLean, and uh, the pilot, Nicole Ayers, in the second Tesla. And then in the third Tesla are the two mission specialists, Kirill Peskov and Takoya Nishi. You see there, NASA security will be leading the way. And what a beautiful day for all involved to be outside watching the crew drive away. I mean, the weather is spectacular. It's perfect. And that last shot there, we saw Anne's mother 
by the side of the car and you know getting her last goodbye there and that was kelly curtis who's escorting for our office kelly has had an incredibly personal and close role with so many astronauts and their families so it's a, such an important role that she plays for us and there are the windows down as ann says uh, some words out to the folks who have gathered there they're clearing the way and will be departing momentarily And there's the wave goodbye, and they are off. On their way to Space Launch Pad 39A, the crew driving away from the Neil A. Armstrong Operations and Checkout Building. This will start the 20-minute drive with a full security escort across NASA's Kennedy Space Center, including right by the Vehicle Assembly Building, which we'll see in a few minutes. As we watch the crew make their way to their launch pad and waiting rocket and spacecraft, let's hear from the crew. And we begin with Commander Ann McLean. 